people deluded i'm back again it's your favorite youtuber wasting my lunch break making vids again when i should be eating and obviously i'm in at this moment in time now i'd say familiar settings but random settings right now forgive me for the for the noises for any that wants that walks past you actually don't see it but i get a lot of funny looks people must think i'm a madman talking into my phone despite the fact i'm not talking to myself and talking into a phone it might be crazy like even right now it's happening you can't see it people but i can like should I, should I, do you know what, should I, should I just panic? You see it? But back to the main topic, what I was going to say now. Obviously, next season for a number of young players is going to be a test in time. It's not going to be make and breaking their careers and things like that because they're still young. But when you look at Amici, Saka, Tyrese, John Jules, Nelson, Emil, Joe, Willock, all of these players, they're young enough to have good futures. And I believe here or elsewhere, they're going to have top careers and put the academy themselves and their families in good light. But um, they're all developing at different rates, but we all know how cutthroat football is, specifically the top six as well, specific to Arsenal's case. I want all of these young players to get chances, but at the same time, a lot of them have to go out on loan and play on a regular basis. A lot of them have to think seriously in regards to the inroads, because I believe the one theme with all of them is they can't, none of them should really be playing on the 23 football next season, in my opinion, like the bulk of it. Saka's 18, 17, 18 in September and he's quite scary and for me he would be playing under 23s to keep focus and match fitness but I'd want to give him some minutes. Amici, kind of the same thing for me, they've got to be kicking on and I'm happy to see Tyrese John Jules again, I'm just seeing it on Instagram but it's nice to see that people are, he's giving it his fair go. Like I said, all of these boys are talented and it's crabs in a barrel mentality. Um, for, if you don't know what I'm referring to, if you go on Tyrese John Jules his Instagram almost every day he's been training with some coach in regards to his finishing and all of these sort of things and just keeping match fit I'd assume apologies for the noise people I'd assume as it goes on a bit he might then do some physical running and stuff or he might be because I'm just going off Instagram but it's lovely to see for me anyways that um what's wrong with you look? it's lovely to see that for me he's working on his finishing like he's doing left foot right foot he's trying to come back ready the saying goes if you always stay ready you never have to get ready and he's willing for that he's 19 in February he's 18 so like I said he's still developing he's still raw and all of these things but he strikes me as someone that wants to play 23's football and someone I mean first team away from 23's and step up next season Probably if Eddie goes on loan, he'd be the third choice, which means for depth purposes, he probably won't go on loan in the summer. Um, but maybe in January, second half of the season, if he pushes for it, he could go out on loan because he does strike me as someone that wants to play men's senior football. And he, I think he's good enough to cut his, cut his um, teeth in that. And it'll, ultimately, it's more of a learning experience than it will be 23s. For me, I think his record at 23s last season, it don't really do him justice. It's a good record, but I think he can get more goals in him. So if he's going to be here for the next six months, I want to see him kind of do that Eddie stuff and that he's bagging goals for fun, as he has been doing at 23s and 18s level. But it's lovely to see that he's given it all he's got, to be fair. And that's what I like to see, because Tyrese is striking me as an individual, when always strike me as someone, whether it's Arsenal or elsewhere, he wants to make it as a professional footballer. Minutes are currency. You have to do all you can to give yourself the opportunity. He's probably one of them apologies again people he's one of them will probably go off with the first team in pre-season um, and things like that um, hopefully he gets opportunities hopefully he makes his debut in official capacity next season I know he's on the bench for Europa um, it is a fact that Emery rates him quite highly whether we'll give him football because he rates Eddie quite highly why much football Eddie play is another story for me I know all these young players want to make it at Arsenal and I want them to as well but by the same logic they have to just focus on themselves they're at pivotal careers now 18 19 years of age you don't have to be the finished article but it's about kicking on and it's whether it's here elsewhere on temporary loan or whatever it's about them building blocks to the next step not everybody's story is the same what might work for Tyrese might not work for Amici what works for Amici might not work for Nelson and you see what I'm going some players need loans some players thrive more when they're in and around the first team and actually some players when they go out on loan it doesn't work out for them versus staying at the club it will be for example I genuinely believe if it will be went out on loan he would not be an Arsenal first team player he could be but I don't think and he had that great season where he got a look in but I don't think he's a Nelson not that Nelson had an amazing loan he had a good loan but I don't think it's a Nelson sort of thing with a Wolby for example so like I said man it's nice to see that Tyrese John Jules is focused he's had a short break um, and um, before I even get on to that he obviously had a good season at, at Arsenal and stuff he went off and played with England and he's back training so he's not resting on his laurels he's obviously had a short break 
life as well to recharge mentally and that um, which is quite right but he's giving it all he's got and if he fails um, at anything he wants to do it's not for want of trying and I like to see that in individuals he's driven because many young players at all of these top clubs in the Premier League or the Championship they listen to what the club has to say and they kind of rest on their lows that they play for Arsenal and whatever they find themselves 20-21 years of age in a bit of a predicament so for me it's lovely to see from Tyrese anyways but for now people deluded I'm out